And then he goes on, and this is where we're going to get to what he's talking about in verse 14. He says, truly, truly, I say to you, whoever believes inwardly is completely convinced in me will also do the works that I do and greater works than these will he do because I am going to the Father. Jesus is actually talking very practically now. All right? He's talking to his specific audience. Do you remember how he told them, I'm going away, but don't let your heart be troubled because I'm going to prepare a place for you. How am I doing that? By dying on a cross, by defeating death, by preparing heaven so that you can then come and live there. He's not going to build mansions for us. He's using that as a figure of speech. He says, but don't let your heart be troubled because I will return. I'll go in the grave and that will be preparing a place for you. But don't worry because I'll come back out of the grave. And I'll come back for you. Don't stress. He's talking very specifically to that audience. Because they are about to get very worried when they see him die on a cross. Which, by the way, is only happening about 36 hours from this point in the passage. That's why he's assuring them. I believe he is still talking very specifically to that specific audience when he says, and greater works than these, the ones that you have experienced, the ones that you have come to believe that I am the Father and the Father is in me, greater works than those you will do. I don't believe that this is a generic promise to all people of all times. He's saying to the, and why do I believe that? Because they did greater works. They fulfilled what Jesus told them that was going to happen. Most commentators have historically taken this statement to be referring specifically to the apostles. Those that who would believe, that group who would trust him, and that was all of them because Judas had left, that group would believe and they would go on to do miracles. But how could those miracles be greater than Jesus's? Well, number one, he's not saying they're going to be better. It could mean that, but it doesn't. He's not saying that you're going to do more of them. What he's saying is the miracles that you will do, the works of the Father that you will do, and why will they do them? Because he's going away. So they will pick up the work that Jesus leaves behind for them to do. They will now do miraculous works, the works of the Father. And why are they greater than the works he's done? Because they will have an effect on history and on the world so much more than what Jesus had done. Nearly every work that Jesus ever did was contained within about 60 or 70 miles of Jerusalem. But the apostles would do what he told them to do. They would go to the ends of the earth. And they would do miracles. They would do the works of the Father. 